I'm back with another video. Today we have Jaekwondo lessons. Bite when you are in the headlock. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. What is your instinct? To pray. In this position, your arms are useless. Yeah. Can you kick or stomp me? <coughs> no. Then if you. He said his first instinct is when he's in this position, don't be like him. Don't pray while you're being prayed upon. God is not coming back to save you. Whether you believe it's an entity, an energy, a frequency, whatever it is, it loves you enough to let the laws of the universe govern you. That's all you have in thyself and the ones that's on the same accord as you, if they're even there to even attend to you or help you. So you have to save yourself to be offer passage to the realms of enlightenment you have to be ready you have to you have to do it yourself you can have kids you can want the best for them you want them to get through the pearly gates or whatever you believe after this you cannot you can try to shape and mold them to the best of your ability and give them they still can reject it they still can you have to walk through there alone you have to say yourself so in this position the last thing you should be doing is praying while you're being preyed upon the most innocent people. The stories we hear. It could be the Junko Furuto. What happened to her? I think it was over 28, 33 days or something like that of torture. The innocent, a female. It ain't her fault. She born with this weaker vessel of a body by being a female. Going against a male, males, that impose their will on her. On her. And ain't no one come and save them. All the horrendous stories you hear. Slavery and beyond and... They ain't get helped by Allah, Akbar, Yahshua, Yahweh, Jesus, Christ, God himself. Ain't no one helped them. It's real like that here on earth. So, let's continue. You wish to survive. What do you do? I don't know. You didn't say bite. 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 Are we not animals? <coughs> Mm. I can't find much evidence the contrary, Lee. Bite. Uh, biting is efficient in close quarter. But don't make a plan of biting. That is a very good way to lose your teeth. That's so much to remember. If you try to remember, you will lose. Empty your mind. Be formless. Shapeless. Like water. That may sound cliche to some people. You may heard things to the same sentiment of that over and over and over. But the best teacher, again, smart people learn from their own. Wise people learn from the doings of others and what they went through. But ain't no better teacher than seeing it yourself, than actually being in it. So, yeah, I noticed that that's real when you're thinking too much. You can be a fighter and, oh, I learned this new move. You get into an altercation and you're thinking that you're sure to lose to do that when you're doing that. You need to live in the present. You never know what that other person is. At the end of the day, all you can do is really beat yourself and defeat yourself. So I agree. It's best to be formless, shapeless, water-like. It adapt to whatever. You put it in any container. I don't care what the shape it is. It will take that form. It adapt to whatever the environment consists of. Like, so I noticed that too. Like, don't think too much. You get in a fight and you think, oh, I'm about to do this whatever move. Like, doesn't work like that. It could be anything. It could be basketball. You watch basketball videos. They tell you the placement. Your hand should be on the ball, whatever degrees. And you should shoot it, and you should, and you think in the all that you throwing yourself off. Just need to get good rhythm, rhythm with it, and develop this muscle memory, and just try to empty your mind. It's easier said than done. I say your mind is filled with water, which is your thoughts, and empty your mind of it. And again, it's easier said than done. Something you have to practice. And then you will get there. But I notice it's in every facet, field, and avenue of arts and crafts or whatever it is. When you're thinking too much, that's when you when you first started learning how to drive. You got the butterflies, you jittery, you anxious, and you thinking, oh, they told me put the seatbelt on. They told me do this, and you, you're thinking too much. 
I should know my own experiences. It's like I hear the philosophers and people that say that came before me that was wise. I heard that I took that into account. I actually listened to it. But at the end of that, you still find yourself in a situation of trial and error. And then you learn that that's very true. It was because I was thinking too much. But, um, let's continue. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. Put it into a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or creep or drip or crash. Be water, my friend. Why don't I just stand in front of Bull and recite that to him? Maybe he'll faint or drown. When is it? Tomorrow. So water is basically like mirroring, right? The container it's in, the environment, circumstances, or whatever. So it's like... And then if you mirror what's going on, you will overcome. All you can do is defeat yourself. Defeat yourself. Yeah, so much I done learned from Bruce Lee, man. So many ways you can interpret it as well. And he was ahead of his time. No wonder they took him out. Much love, value, and appreciation to Bruce Lee and his family. Because he wouldn't be here if it wasn't for his family. So, immortalized the legend forever. Will last past the sands of time. If that's even possible. But, yeah, shout out to Bruce Lee, man. You are not ready. I know. Like everyone else, you want to learn the way to win, but never to accept the way to lose. To accept defeat, to learn to die is to be liberated from it. So when tomorrow comes, you must free your ambitious mind and learn the art of dying. Be well with you, Mike. That is true. It's like that's a good thing though. Like you, you focus on your goals and and winning. That's that's good. Cause you you think of that. It's in your conscious. You think of it enough, it will bleed into your subconscious. It's, it's, and it will actualize, materialize, and manifest for you. It will be real to you. Um. Yeah, we always focused on winning and what that would be like. We never think or take into account what's the right way to accept defeat. I mean, didn't they say everyone is losers? Even the person you find successful is just a loser that tried one more time. You just won. Dart away. You throwing darts at the wall, waiting for something to stick. Whatever arts, crafts, a field you in, business, whatever your ambitions consist of. You just one dart. You throwing something at the wall into a stick. You just one dart away from changing your life. But it's not forever. Not if you don't do what's necessary to sustain and multiply what you have. But because we didn't seen people they obtain their goals and dreams and they right back at square run one. They lost it all. Um, yeah, we never really think of that variable. What's the right way? Like, what's the way to accept defeat? Like, what's your reaction to an action or whatever Earth th throws at you? Um, a life. <laughs> That's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. Nah, but again, much value and appreciation to Bruce Lee and his family. They feel they try to really get rid of him. This energy still around. This energy is literally in others that's inspired by him. They literally take this way of life and move forward and spread the message. He's immortalized. He bigger than you ever will be. The ones that they know, the ones that did what they did, you made them bigger. <laughs> yeah, 
Osbars is down, man. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.